Hey everybody, Austin here again with another Let's Play video, and today we're going to be revisiting Sunder, a Doom 2 WAD, uh, a very, very difficult one at that. Uh, many years ago, maybe in 2016 or 2017, I had uh, started a Let's Play series of this game where we covered maps 1, 3, and I believe 8, and uh, as of doing this video, it's October, and as you guys know, in October I like to do horror-themed content, and Sunder absolutely fits that bill, um, with all your upside-down crosses, and your your nasty looking status bar which was actually added into uh, some of the more recent revisions of Sunder and yeah fits the bill perfectly and it's just a very challenging thing so for some people it's just scary from the angle that it's just really difficult. <laughs> it's, it's overwhelmingly difficult for some people. So, uh, map two is not too bad here although this is where the, the wad kind of starts to show some teeth. Uh, so on the first map, we had a major swarm of imps, uh, but this map throws a big swarm of a higher tier enemy, the Revenants, at you. So uh, if you're not used to seeing, you know, hundreds of enemies just, you know, barreling down a hallway at you uh, in Doom, well, brace yourself because it's uh, it's something. All right. So now I'm not a speedrunner. I'm not someone that does UV max runs and things like that. Uh, so we are going to be quick saving throughout the course of this playthrough. That way we don't have to repeat too much progress. Uh, if I die and um, but I will be talking about the different uh, strategies I use to get through this map my own way uh, and uh, I'll talk about you know some other doom stuff as uh, we play through this so let's go ahead and start a new save file uh, I've got a whole series of Sunder save files right here so let's go ahead and just save over 02 which is uh, for this map and uh, yeah, this is the burrow again. So yeah, not a very long map. It'll probably take us about 20 minutes to, to do this, assuming I don't die too many times. But yeah, when you start here, what you want to do is just turn around, grab that green armor. It's actually, it's right behind you. And then you can drop down here, just like so. Now you have a couple of different choices that you can go with here. Uh, you can go up to the top right there to flip a switch. Uh, it's not wise to flip the switch just yet. Ideally, you want to get rid of this first grouping of enemies before you flip the switch because it's going to spawn your next fight. Um, but there's also another cubby on the far left, and so what I want to do is actually go down this way and get rid of these shotgunners. Just like so. Grab all their shotguns if I can. And then my next point of contention is this arch vial. My goal is to get rid of this arch vial as fast as possible. Now, if you see the Arch Vile targeting another enemy, you kind of don't want to shoot him. Otherwise, he's just going to turn around, and his line of sight attack is going to hit you instantly. And so, if I see him attacking other enemies, I just want to make sure I'm near a wall that I can get behind for when he finally points around at me. And we're just using our first shotgun here. There is actually a super shotgun up top I could grab, but I'm just going to play it safe here. And that was actually kind of risky. I hit him when he was in the middle of attacking an enemy, and uh, did I just, okay, I was going to say, did I hear him die? I did not. I'm just hearing things. There we go. Now he's dead. All right, so now I'm going to get the super shotgun up here, and I'm going to fall right back down so I can get rid of these guys. Now, if I've got Mancubus, or a Mancubus or two here, what I like to do is try to have the Mancubus do some work for me, and uh, monster infighting is a big thing in some of these, uh, these Doom Wads. These more custom Doom mods, so not having a good time here. There we go. He triggered one Revenant. Now the reason I'm taking my time with the infighting here is that uh, map two can be a little stingy on ammo. You only get some bullets, you only get shotgun shells, and you only get some rockets. And you don't even get that many rockets in the grand scheme of things. It's not enough rockets to kill everything. You will have to revert to your super shotgun uh, later on in this map, 100%. So, uh, let me adjust my monitor here a little bit. There we go. And so now, the next thing we have to do is go up and flip that switch I was talking about. But let me make sure I've gotten everything down here first before we do that. So, yeah, it looks like I got everything. Um, I'm full health right now, which is great. Uh, let's just go ahead and update our save file. We can grab uh, one of those boxes of shells. I don't want to grab that one because I only have... I'm only down by two shells. So, I don't want to pick it up. Shell Boxes of shells give you 20. And so what I like to do here is try to have the Hell Knights do some infighting with our pinky demons here. And uh, this is actually a really bad position. I might actually end up dying here. Let's see what happens. I'll try to back off. There we go. Now we got chain gunners right here. And the chain gunners can actually trigger the pinkies. So let's see if we can get some, uh, some pinky on chain gunner action. 
Well, actually, it looks like the chain gunners kind of just killed themselves. So one of the things about chain gunners is hit scan enemies in this game. Basically, enemies that are also line of sight, kind of like the arch files, um, that have guns, like machine guns or pistols or shotguns, uh, they can actually hurt each other. And so if you have a big group of chain gunners, what will end up happening is the chain gunners from behind will hit the chain gunners in the front, and then the ones in the front will turn around and try to hit the ones in the back, and they'll all just kill themselves. Um, but ideally what you have happen is um, the chain gunners hit the pinky demons, and then the pinkies turn around and then um, go after the chain gunners. It makes this fight a lot easier. Now another strategy you can do is you can actually just fall down here right away off that ledge. But I actually don't really want to do that yet. What I want to do is just try to take out all these enemies and preferably, again, have the Hell Knights do some of the work for me. And then the pinkies will turn around and try to attack the, uh, the Hell Knights. And then that'll help me. It means I won't be using up as much ammo. I'll have... It's better to have leftover ammo at the end of the level than it is to, you know, be, you know, just scraping by. And let's see what we can do here. Come on, Hell Knights. There we go. Alright, so now you notice some of the pinkies are turning around. And that's just gonna help me. It's gonna make my life easier. I'm not gonna have as many pinkies on my butt. And it looks like that's probably about it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these Hell Knights. Now, for those of you guys that are familiar with Sunder, but you haven't maybe played in a while, um, on my last stream of this game, uh, no one had really heard from the creator, Insane Gazebo, for a long time. He hadn't updated it in years. Uh, everyone thought that Sunder was probably done. Um, but then out of nowhere, he came back, and he's been updating it uh, ever since. And so this is actually a more updated version of it. Uh, so you notice that there is a updated status bar in the bottom. Also, the palette is different. So the colors are going to look a little bit different than, um, you know, how this map originally looked. So, yeah, cool stuff. Sunder is being updated again, and the maps have just gotten absolutely massive. Um, you guys will probably see me try to tackle those in future live streams. So the next thing here is to grab this rocket launcher, and then we've got a swarm of revenants. Not the swarm I was talking about earlier, but it is a small swarm. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my shoddy here. Now, if uh, you get swarmed by their rockets, you can just fall down here and just move, you know, move to safety. So in the earlier, you know, maps of Sunder, there are a lot of moments where you can, you know, you can burrow, no pun intended, yourself into a corner and then uh, just take the enemies out one by one. Now again, what I was talking about earlier was when you trigger that pinky swarm, uh, one strategy that I'll still use sometimes is to just fall down here. All the pinkies will just huddle along that edge and uh, you can try to take them out from a distance. All right. I'm gonna come down here, get some more shells. We've got some health as well. All right, so that's 85. We're at 92. I'm gonna go ahead and save that for when I come out of here. I'm probably gonna need it. So let's go ahead and quick save. We've got some rockets, and I'm gonna switch right back over to my rocket launcher, grab this supercharge, and then we're gonna go for all these Hell Knights. So you kinda wanna just make, you know, small movements, just little micro dodges. Just tap your uh, strafe key multiple times to do little baby taps. Or little baby steps, I should say. And we want to just try to take out all these Hell Knights. I can switch back to my shotgun if I want. Try to try to mix it up a little bit. Do a mixture of rockets, do a mixture of shotgun. And hopefully not take too many hits in the process. Now you guys will know, notice that I'm I'm actually using the traditional auto-aim here. A lot of people that play wads like these, they enable free look and things like that. Uh, I prefer to play with the traditional auto-aim. Uh, which is how I've always played Doom. Funny enough, when I first played Sunder, uh, it was my first experience with this kind of wad, this sort of craziness. And so I actually used free look. It felt like, you know, I was so new to this style of uh, Doom map that I thought it was basically designed to be used with mouse look. 
But I've since uh, regressed on that, and now I play traditionally. And, uh, you know, playing without free look makes the fights completely different. There are some fights later on in the WAD that uh, are just significantly easier with free look. And so you're not really uh, going through them as originally intended. Regardless of your preference, I do recommend switching up. People that uh, don't use free look, I recommend trying free look every now and then just for fun. Uh, and see how it changes uh, how your maps play out. And likewise, people that use free look, I recommend uh, turning it off and then trying with the traditional auto aim. Your strategies that you might use with free look are going to be completely different without it. I'm going to go ahead and just burn up all my uh, my my bullets. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think teleport up here. So one thing I'm going to do is actually flip this switch, which can be a mistake. Because, as you heard, we just woke up some Cybers, and we also woke up some Arch Vials that are going to spawn after this fight. And so the Arch Vials are doing their job now. They're doing some work on the Pinkies, I'm sure. Respawning the Pinkies. But one nice thing about triggering those Arch Vials is that... They'll be focused on reviving the Pinkies instead of targeting you when you go up this walkway here in a moment. But we will have some Pinkies here. Uh, we got some shotgun shells. Let's go ahead and make a new save since we finished that fight. Alright, so shotgun shells. Actually, let's go ahead and switch back to our rocket launcher. We've got green armor. And you'll notice that they, they all get huddled up around here. And there are the vials. And, uh, one of them hit me, unfortunately. But while they're doing that, I'm gonna focus on this cyber. Because I need to get rid of this guy. And if I can get rid of him while everyone else is just kind of in their own little world, then I'll go for it. I'll roll with it. So there's actually a switch up there right behind this Cyber Demon. Oh, there's the vial. Now the nice thing about the vials is they can be killed by uh, other enemies. Cybers in particular. Alright, good. One vial down. Always want to focus on those vials. There we go. He's gone. Good stuff. Alright, so now my next point of contention is this cyber up top. I have to get behind him to hit that switch. And now, there are some speedrunners that'll go and just, like, squeeze right between him and the switch, and they'll flip the switch that way. And I find that to just be way too risky for my own playstyle, so I don't recommend it unless you are speedrunning the map. And we're just going to take our time here. I used to get up behind him and try to hit, try to try to shoot him that way, but it's honestly just way too dangerous. Now, I think a cubby is opened up here where I can, yeah, grab some shells just like this. I don't want to waste my rockets because there's going to be that big revenant swarm I was talking about. I'd rather save my rockets for them. It's a lot more efficient against groups of revenants than it is uh, against a cyber demon. So let's go ahead and save. This is gonna... Hmm, that was close. That was actually risky. Alright, so let me just wait for him to walk away a little bit. And so that switch opened up this door right here. And what I want to do is actually walk and pick up this supercharge. I don't want to touch the switch yet. The reason for that is that uh, grabbing the supercharge reveals these vials, and I want to get rid of the vials first. Otherwise, uh, they're going to keep respawning uh, revenants in this revenant swarm I was talking about. Wow, that was bad. Got him. And it's also nice... Oh, that's actually... I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the vial was targeting me, and I just wasn't even paying attention. Uh, one of the nice thing about having the Cyber in here is that he can actually help me out at the start of the Revenant Swarm. So they don't kill him first. Uh, come on, Rockets, do your thing. There we go, he's dead. Alright, Revenant Swarm. 
Hopefully let the cyber turn around. There we go. He's doing some work for me now. Now, Revenant Rockets, you know, you'll notice that they home in on you. And they will get grouped and bunched up. And so when you see really, really, really bright rockets, unusually bright, it means that it's uh, just a gigantic amount of rockets just stacked and layered on top of each other. And like I said, this is where Sunder starts to show its teeth. If you're not used to this sort of swarm, it'll be extremely overwhelming at first. And for some reason, the Cyber's coming after me. The, the reason the Cyber is still coming after me, despite getting wrecked by Revenants behind him, is my... Com I always play on um, the wrong compatibility settings. You've got uh, compatibility modes. Compatibility, you know, 9, compatibility 4, compat whatever. I don't remember the exact numbers, but depending on the compatibility mode that you have set, it alters the behavior of the enemies. And uh, if you don't have it set on the correct compatibility mode, uh, the cyber demons in particular, when they're infighting, they'll just snap right out of the infighting and just start com coming right towards you. Um, rather than remaining pissed off at the enemies that are surrounding him. So, in a way that actually makes Sunder more difficult. Because, you know, you really need the infighting in this. It's definitely designed around infighting. And if you're not using the infighting properly, uh, or if the infighting's not going your way, that can be the difference between life and death in this game. Holy crap. Uh, that scared me. I was not expecting that. So what I want to do is actually something... Um, I'm going to come back here and see if there's any leftover health. Yep, that's why I left that there, and I don't think there's anything... Well, there might be a stim pack. Yep. In the Doom community, we call these snack packs sometimes. And they only give you 10 hit points back, but it's something. And let's go ahead and just walk our way back up. Now, I don't want to kill this Cyber. I want to go ahead and leave him because there are going to be more Revenants. And I want him to take out the Revenants for me. Boom, just like that. Let those rockets fly by. There's another health pack right there. It's actually really good to know. And another one right there. So I have at least 50 hit points I can get back for free, which is nice. All right, more shells. Alright, so there are some rockets in this room, in this structure. Uh, but I want to get rid of any revenants that are in the, this front hallway here before I even try to grab those. Oh, 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 not good, not good, not good. That hurt. When you see just bright red like that, always scares the crap out of me. And especially when I see it really bright red, I think I got hit by a cyber rocket. But I didn't. It was just Revenant Rockets. Now, what's interesting about this uh, lava floor here is it doesn't actually hurt you. There's no pain sector, as they call it. Which is nice. When I was actually warming up for this Let's Play, I kept avoiding the fire here, thinking it would... Oh, I've got rockets, too. So let me switch over to that. I kept avoiding this, uh, this sector, thinking that it would cause damage, but it actually doesn't, thankfully. I don't know what that cyber's doing. I don't think he died. Yeah, he's still here. He got stuck. <laughs> stuck cyber. He went down that hallway. So one thing I'd like to do is actually come back up here and get myself this health that we left behind. Just like that. Now, Cybers always shoot in, um, you know, patterns of three. So they always go one, two, three with their rockets. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was my fault. All right, well, let's just redo it. Um, right back to hitting the switch. <laughs> gotta redo this swarm, unfortunately. But that was my fault. It was totally my fault. Not paying attention. But it's okay. So hopefully we'll get a better, uh, you know, a better round with these arch vials. All right, there's one.
There we go. All right, and now we can hit the switch. Not a Nintendo Switch, but a Doom Switch. Let that cyber do the work. Another strategy I'll use, I'll just come right out to this, uh, this area to make... You know, the funnel the revenants through this tiny, tiny doorway. And you notice that I'm constantly moving around in circles too, it's because I know there are revenant rockets homing in on me. They're constantly trailing behind me. That's why you have to stay in constant motion when you're dealing with revenants. Now unfortunately, revenant rockets do not hurt other revenants. Under most circumstances, I should say. There are some really crazy, like, uh, outliers that can occur involving barrels, but... Uh, we're not dealing with that right now, so I'm not gonna go into it. Okay. Too many revenants. Whoa, that was close. Alright, hit the cyber. Hit the cyber. Thank you. Cyber is pissed. Momentarily pissed. <laughs> then he comes after me. Alright, there we go. Turn around. Nope. Hit the revenant. Thank you. Alright, how about this revenant? Yes. Good job, cyber. You're my boy. Okay, grab some shells, more shells, and more rockets. Cyber's coming back. Now, you can get more rockets inside this structure, but it's pretty dangerous to get it. We're still doing really well in terms of health, actually. I wonder if the cyber died or if he's stuck. Because I don't hear him and he's not coming my way. Let me go ahead and just get rid of these revenants myself. Nope, there he is. He's still there. He's just being goofy. for those guys, man. There we go. Turn around. There you go. Good cyber. Might as well just go ahead and try to get rid of the cyber, because it's an extra scary element. You get this hulking beast walking around the arena that can potentially one-shot you. And I think I'm probably good on ammo, so getting rid of him was actually a good thing. And now I have to get behind a column like this, otherwise I'm gonna get pummeled by all those rockets. And that would definitely have killed me instantly, getting hit by that many rockets at once. Taking my time here. No need to rush.
Now you notice I'm not trying to shoot the revenants through these windows on the sides. The reason is that my rockets have a tendency of just not doing anything. So I'd rather actually come in here, sort of bait them out this way. Like so. Those are the two boxes of rockets I was talking about. And it looks like this is pretty much it. We're done. Oops. <laughs> Unless I die, get hit by another rocket and just explode. So yeah, we have to flip, hit, uh, blah, man, I can't talk. So we have to hit a switch on that side, then we have to hit another switch on this side. And now, if I wanted to try to go for 100%, I'd go back through the map, pick up any items that were left over, and things like that. If you have any enemies left behind that you want to wipe out, there is this berserk pack over here that you can grab, and then you can move back out, with, uh, you know, with a little more uh, health to work with. So, but no, we're going to go ahead and exit the map, and that is it. That is the burrow. Map 2 in Sunder. Um, yeah, actually, it's a pretty difficult map if you're if you're new to this sort of thing, um, but it's not too bad once you've played some of the other Sunder maps and you've kind of built up a little more experience with this type of wad. Uh, the infighting definitely goes a long way, uh, even on this map, uh, because this map, something I didn't really mention, I don't believe I mentioned, uh, it's got quite a bit of ammo starvation. Uh, you don't get an infinite amount of rockets on this map. Um, you get just not even enough rockets actually notice that I ran out of rockets completely by the end and uh, I still had to rely on my shotgun shells so it's basically you know you have to be proficient with your shotgun and your rockets and there's no plasma gun there's no BFG uh, there's nothing like that you get the chain gun just briefly but it's not all that useful uh, so the map can still be tricky if you don't have a game plan going into this map you can still get wrecked pretty quickly so uh, just like you can and pretty much anything Sunder related, but yeah, that's gonna do it for me guys I hope you enjoyed uh, this playthrough of map 2 of the burrow and uh, If you guys want to see more Sunder map playthroughs, let me know I have a couple of other maps in particular. I've got my eyes on like I could do map 4 maybe map 6 um, uh, Probably maybe map 10 or 11 those are kind of long maps, but uh, I've got decent strategies for those You know so I can get through them pretty consistently um but yeah, if you guys want to see more Sunder, let me know, and I'll try to come back with uh, with some more uh, dedicated map playthroughs like this. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, uh, consider subscribing. I've got a lot of Let's Plays here like this and many, many more to come. For everyone already subbed, thank you for your usual support. It's much appreciated. I uh, hope you guys continue to enjoy getting these videos. And uh, until the next one, take it easy.